What's good? Welcome back to On The Sticks, where we provide you with the information you need so you can spend more time on the sticks. Uh, sticks. And today we'll be taking a look at part one of the most feared program in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to help directly support the channel over here. Thanks. So this past week, we finally got part one of the most feared program in Madden Ultimate Team. You know, every year, most feared program drops. It's one of the better programs in Mutt. And typically it doesn't disappoint. We'll see how it goes this year because you know it's always a toss up in Madden and EA of what they want to do with these MUT programs. So we got part one and it's featuring, I think, Derrick Henry, Jesse Bates, I think, yeah, and Ed Reed, Travis Kelsey, JJ Watt. Those are some of the players it's featuring. Part one, let's see what it says about it. This year's Most Fear program offers a little bit of everything, including 40 new player items, exchange sets, mission objectives, monster more strategy items, solo challenges, house rules, objectives in the yard, and start offers. I make sure I leave all these details down below in the description. So check out the description if you want to read all this for yourself. But yeah, some of the players is included, as I said before, Derek Henry, JJ Watt, Travis Kelsey. I'm really happy about that air read champion card i really want to get him and i think it's interesting and funny that he has a a right outside linebacker power up card and i think you get him in your welcome pack as soon as you start the program i don't remember ed reed playing right outside linebacker but hey it is what it is if i get him i probably would put him at right outside linebacker 92 overall i would probably put him there instead of strong safety i think i got a pretty good strong safety already but I would definitely put him there. Some other players I got in there, Xavier Rhodes, Corey Davis, Derek Carr. And uh, of course, doing the solos, you do get to play as some of these different players to give you an idea of what they play like and which players you actually want to go after. In this video, you guys will see the highlights of the, what solos are these? The Scary Speed solos, I believe. You'll see the highlights from them. And uh, I get to use Derek Carr a lot, as, as well as Corey Davis. Got to use both those guys a lot. And on defense, I know I used a lot of uh, Stefan to it. Got to use him a lot. So yeah, these solos do give you a good chance to see how these players play differently. So you got your mission objectives. Like I said, I have them down below in the description if you guys want to check those out. You get monster more strategy items. Uh, I think for, yeah, for the scary speed, the one that get, gives you a player, gives your players a boost of 10 plus speed stats but it takes away four from their height i don't think i'm gonna use that joint but it could be interesting using it i don't think i'm gonna use it but yeah with the scary speed solos it's a total of 10 challenges 30 stars possible completing it you get a scary speed strategy item complete all 30 challenges in this most feared set and you'll get access to the ultiverse of terror which is another set of solos we will be knocking out all these there we go we got our first most feared in this free prime pack james o'shaughnessy we got him but yeah we will be covering all the most feared solos like i said this video will be scary speed the next one will be monstrous might and here go our welcome pack for most feared and then we have towering terror and then after those three we will go over to the Ultiverse of Terror solos and knock those out as well. Hopefully we have them all done before they release part two of uh, Most Feared. I think I will, most likely. I'm not sure when does part two go up, but we will most likely have all of these knocked out by then. And you do wanna complete those Ultiverse of Terror solos because that's how you get a free 90 overall Most uh, Feared Hero. So definitely do that. But yeah, like I was saying, that 93 overall, <laughs> Ed Reed at linebacker. Like I said, I've never seen Ed Reed play that, but I think it's cool that they added him since my lineup. Ed Reed was my starting strong safety, but I got a better strong safety. So since I took him out of starting strong safety, I do get to see him more at right linebacker because I have more opportunities for him to get on the field and make plays there at linebacker says we kind of we kind of weak at linebacker i would say we're still using linebackers i got from the start of the game i think uh pernell mcphee i think i got him like the first day i got the game but yeah 10 little solos not very hard at all you guys should be able to knock these out easily without any trouble but shoot if you got any questions 
Yeah, I already know. Ask me down below in the comments. And I did enjoy playing with Derrick Henry a lot on these challenges. A lot of these rushing challenges, uh, typically I have to resort to rushing with my QB. But with Derrick Henry back there, I didn't really have to do that. He's a, he should be most feared. <laughs> He's running, running scary out here. But yeah, it was definitely cool to play with Derrick Henry during these solo since I don't normally use him. I think I have his power, but I don't have like his regular elite card, anything like that. But playing with the most feared version makes me want his uh his most feared card. Him and uh Corey Davis. Corey Davis plays really well on here as well. And Derek Carr, I, I I like Derek Carr as a QB, his most feared version, but you know, I like to have mobile, mobile quarterback. See, he made plays right there to Jerry Rice. I like to have a mobile QB. And he could probably move a little bit, but he's not moving like I need him to move. <laughs> like Lamar moves or how Pat moves. I mean, Pat kind of slow, but yeah, Lamar, how Lamar moves. Derek Carr not moving like that, so I can't really rock with him as my star in QB. But yeah, these solos are a piece of cake. How y'all feeling about the most feared program so far this year? Part one, let me know down below in the comments. Is it seeming like it's going to be a letdown already for you? See, there goes Corey Davis right there. Does it seem like it's going to be a letdown for you already? Or are you happy with what they added first? You know, I would prefer if it went back to that. It used to be where they just drop everything at once. No more of this part one, part two, part three type stuff. I just need everything at one time and just let me go through it at my own pace. I understand they drop it like that. So people can't go through it that fast and they have to come back to it. Look at Roy Williams right there making plays. See, that should have been, that shouldn't have been a touchdown, but Roy Williams is so fast. He scored, but yeah, they, they drop it in parts. My bad. They drop it in parts like that, so you can't run through it, and that you got to take your time with it, because that's what people do. The new promo drop, and people run through it all in the afternoon, in a day, in a weekend. Because I feel like promos typically, well, I ain't going to say typically drop on Thursday, Friday, because I feel like someone dropped earlier in the week. Corey Davis with the touchdown right there. Shout out to him. They usually drop whenever they drop, and people just binge right through them. And then I turn around and expect something else. So about a year or two ago, I feel like they started just dropping them in parts. Look at Jalen with the damn interception. See, Jalen's still out here making plays. I think every set of solos, Jalen make at least one play, at least, if not multiple plays. He'll get me. He good for one. So shout out to Jalen. That was one reason why I didn't really worry about getting Xavier Rhodes, the QB, not QB, the cornerback, even though we probably should because... Jalen, Jalen is our best corner, and I think the rest of my corners are relatively lower in overall compared to Jalen. I think Jalen is an 88, and then my next one might be like an 85, 84. And with more and more receivers getting added, with better overalls, look like Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is a great pickup too. He's a rookie premier card, great player on my squad. Got to have a fast tight end. Got to. But uh, what I saying? Yeah, Jalen. He's an 88, and the rest of my QBs, are, not QBs, <laughs> I keep saying QBs. The rest of my corners are like mid to low 80, so I might need a higher corner. We got guys like Corey Davis, most feared card is like a 90, 90 overall. And uh, my corner's definitely not trying to <laughs> see that and cover that. Defense stepping up big right there for the sack. Chase Young still got him on the squad going strong. I definitely got him day one of Mutt, and he's still making plays. They go Jesse Bates making an interception right there. Most feared player. But yeah, Chase Young still in there. I would like to upgrade that position as well. I don't really care for Chase Young right there no more, even though he does play pretty good. But I feel like it's so many better players I could have right there. But I just haven't got one yet. Look at that. Rug still making plays. I know I had him since day one. I think I end up taking him out of my lineup, though, later on, if I'm not mistaken. We finally move him out of there. Once we get some uh, some of these most feared receivers, look at that. Great play. Great play. That's what I like to see. Teamwork. One guy deflect and the other guy get the interception. He should have had the touchdown right there. We almost had the pick six. That would have been great. But, yeah, this, this was the first 10. That I feel like these 10 challenges flew by. See, we got our most scary uh, monster morph, scary speed strategy items. I don't even keep up with the strategy items on here. Do any of y'all really use strategy items like that? I think I probably added some to my team when I first unlocked them and never went back to change them to anything else. I probably should start adding different ones. They could probably really help my squad out. 
yeah, I just don't really think anything about them. I don't think I ever even really kept up with strategies on the previous Madden's. All right, we got an 81 overall most feared player. Let's see who we got. Who did we get? Who did we get right here? Jermaine Pratt. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know right now. I think I've gotten Jermaine Pratt three or four times already <laughs> since the uh, promo started. The day I started playing the promo, I got this guy like three or four times. So he must be like the easiest, most feared player to get. He has the, the highest drop rate out of anybody, definitely. And I'm tired of getting them, honestly. I haven't even used where I think every time I got them, I added them to a set. <laughs> but shout out to Jermaine Pratt, though. And then I think we go ahead and go in here and uh, buy our first most feared pack. Yep, let's go ahead and check this pack out and see what we get. Hopefully, we get something good, some good most feared players. Hopefully, hopefully, let's see. A gold to start off the pack. That's a good pick. Oh, there we go. Most feared. Who we get? Cam Robertson. It's an offensive lineman, but hey, it's a, it's a most feared player. And I do think we go ahead and just add him to a set because I think we're already good at the lineman position right there. That pack's okay. Nothing special. You know, like I said, we take Cam Robinson. We add him to, to a set. But yeah, that was the Scary Speed Most Feared Solos of Part 1 of the Most Feared Program. Like I said, we're going to knock out all the solos for Most Feared and drop some content for, for you guys on it. And we still got the Gridiron Forge videos coming too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to help directly support the channel. And be sure to check back here daily for more content from us at On The Sticks. Thanks.